Next question is from Chris FTW8. Besides saving time, what are the benefits of supersets? Oh man, strength, endurance. Mm. Strength, endurance is the main one. So there's 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 low rep strength, maximal strength, and the strength endurance. Bodybuilders tend to have this. You know, you get a power lifter and a bodybuilder working out together, and when it comes to the heavy weight, the bodybuilders, uh, excuse me, the power lifter is going to outperform them typically. Once they get into sets and reps, and then you'll see the the bodybuilders start to outperform because of the strength endurance. Um, the pump is another one. Oh, yeah. I love the pump. The supersets really amplify that. It's one of my favorite effects. That's a really weird one for me because like I didn't realize, like I remember working out with Adam even when I uh, was just doing my normal sort of strength routine that was like low reps and then doing uh, these supersets, just f this feeling of almost engorged like tightness. Like I couldn't like keep going because the pump was so in intense because it wasn't something I ever focused on to where it actually limited, uh, you know, any more reps that I could do. And that, that just like blew my mind. It was my strategy to level the playing field. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I mean, we, this is actually some of the other benefits of this is the last question. Uh, this is another great way for you to build some cardiovascular endurance. It's True. not going to compete with marathon running if you're trying to get cardiovascular endurance, but this is one of the ways that you can get some of the, that's what's beautiful about weight training mm -hmm. is that you can do things like supersets and trisets and shorten the rest periods and watch how your heart starts beating. And th I mean, that's how you strengthen your heart. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's ways that you can get cardiovascular benefits through strength training. The opposite is not true. Yeah. Now another, another benefit of supersets is, uh, to focus on a muscle that you may not necessarily be connecting to well in compound movements. For example, maybe you do barbell rows and you feel it more in your arms than you do in your back. One way you can do a superset is you can do an isolation movement for your lats and then move to the barbell rows. It's called a pre-exhaust. It allows you to feel that muscle more, right? You could do this for chest too, like flies before a press. Or maybe your glutes in a squat. You could do a hip thrust right before a squat. Or you could do it for your quads, a sissy squat or a leg extension before a squat. So you could also do this. Another way you could do a superset is to just, in terms of increasing the value, or I should say the 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 quality of the workout experience, right? So let's not let's all not discredit the experience of the workout. We all love certain feelings. There's definitely value in that, whether it benefits your physical body or not. There's certain things I do just because I love the way they feel. I love supersetting opposing muscle groups. There is no better feeling than having your chest and your back pumped at the same time or your biceps and your triceps pumped at the same time. So I like to do that sometimes where I'll do a superset chest and back exercise or a bicep and tricep exercise just for the experience, improving the quality of the experience.